What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so this video is about common tools you're gonna to be using in editing, whether it's a video about promoting your business, uh, a short film, a feature film, whether you're starting out on YouTube, uh, these tools are going to be super, super helpful to you, and I use them all the time. Uh, so before uh, we start, I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel because there'll be more videos like this on the way. All right, let's go. All right, so the first tool I'm going to show you is the arrow tool. It's like the go-to tool. You'll use this like 95% of the time, um, and it's located here. And... Um, you know, again, we're going super, super basic. Many of you may know this, but like if you're the person who's maybe using iMovie, you're probably not necessarily going to be aware of the arrow tool. But um, and you might accidentally click away on some of these other tools that are located here. And then you'd be like, oh, how do I get that arrow tool back? Where is it? What do I do? I'm confused because I can't select anything in my timeline. So again, it's here. And on the arrow, um, the shortcut key is the letter A for DaVinci Resolve. So um, what that allows you to do, it really, the arrow tool lets you allow to manipulate the timeline. You can um, sort of, you can trim things easily by hovering over it. Uh, obviously you can select a file and you can right click on it and choose different elements. Okay. Um, then obviously also moving um, different um, parts of the timeline. Again, here I'm, I'm shortening, I could lengthen. I could move this video to a higher layer. Um, this arrow, t the arrow, the arrow is is the tool that you're just going to go to. And then um, being able to select different files, you know, if you double, you know, hop, put it on there and double click it, then you're right there in the video and you're bringing it up. I'm not doing it right now. I'm just keeping this one video file, selecting different effects and dragging them here. You know, um, there I added a Gaussian, Gaussian blur, going to different effects, adding titles, dragging them into the timeline. That's all from the arrow tool. You can do most of your stuff from the arrow tool. Um, okay, so definitely go explore around with the arrow tool, see what you can do. And then um, the next um, sort of helpful editing tool within the timeline, uh, I want to point out is the blade tool. Now I use the blade tool very often and that's uh, the shortcut key is B, but you can, you know, use the icons for now, which is right here. And it looks like a razor blade. Um, the blade tool is common from Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. So if you've done some editing before, you'll be familiar with the blade tool. But, um, you know, uh, let's say for example, I say um or something, or I say something that I don't want to be in the video, then I could go here and because I can see in the audio some of the waveform or I'm playing it back, um, you know, here I'm taking a breath. Maybe I don't even want the breath there. I want it to be so, f I want the video to be so fast that I'm going to cut that breath out. So I'm going to blade tool it. Boom. Right. And then I'm going to select, then I'm going to go back to the arrow tool. So I'm going to press A. And then I'm going to select that piece of the video. I'm going to press delete. And then I'm going to um, widen my timeline so I can select the gap in there. And I'm going to select it with my arrow tool and I press delete. And boom, I've deleted that breath. Uh, we're and it. Uh, we're now, the thing is, you get what's called a jump cut. It's very common in um, YouTube videos that I see. Uh, if you're watching it during a feature film, then it's got to be super intentional. But um, it does save time for, for the viewer. So um, if you want to cover that up, um, that jump cut, then let's say I grab a piece with the blade tool of this video. I bring it to the second video layer right here. And uh, let's say I drag it over to that part, and then boom. And it. Uh, we are literally starting ground zero from grabbing that file to put it to your computer. And there you go. So then it doesn't feel like a jump cut because I took a video, and that's, and that's called cutting away, or you know, overlaying video, or whatever you want to call it. But it's more smooth transition, and you can't tell 
that um, there was a cut in the video and it seems like I'm just talking smoothly. And those are the tricks of the trade of editing. But that blade tool is super, super useful and you're gonna do it throughout. Um, uh, you know, another, another example is if I had an interview and I just wanna cut out the bits, I might, I might actually, instead of doing in and outs points for each video, I might just pull the whole video in, chop it up with the blade and then start deleting all the crap underneath. Um, okay, so that was tool number two. Tool number three, um, the N tool or the snapping tool, so keyboard shortcut N, you're always turning it on and off. See how it highlights and on and off? But the N tool is the snapping tool. So let's say, for example, here's a break. Um, the computer figures that you want the timeline to end up there. So um, by having the snapping tool, if, if for example, I have this video here and it's further away, if I want to bring it closer, it'll, oops, I did that wrong. It'll automatically snap in place. And then when I play it, uh, so let's go. There's no um, definitive black. Now let's say I turn off the snapping tool. So I'm going to try to do this manually. And you can see I can't really get it too close without like overlapping and this is a problem. So watch, let's let's do it like this and it kind of looks like they're together, let's go. but you might be able to see that there was a black frame. So that's why you want to, um, you want to have that snapping tool. And there's, there's other purposes to it because, you know, things fall out of sync, um, things like that. But that snap tool, you're going to be pressing that, you're going to be pressing N so often you might as well know that it's on the keyboard. Okay, so the other um, tool that I use super awesome is this link tool, right? So here it's unlinked. And then if I click on it, now it's linked. So what does that do? Um, what it does is it takes a file that has audio and video. So right now the audio and the video on this, on this is linked. So if I, in the beginning, so I'd appreciate it if you, so it's all synced and everything, right? So if I, if I stretch this one to the, to the second video layer, the audio will move to this second audio layer. Okay. So, um, if I unlink them, so I click on this, then when I select the video, see, I can move the video separately. It's because it's no longer linked. In fact, I can go over here and move the, the video here, but look, the timing's off. So now the video is out of sync. So I'm going to undo that and bring it back here. And now it's back in sync. Undo is Apple Z. So that leads me to my next, um, very and very important tool. It's the undo, the, um, which is Apple Z. But if you want to go to the edit, um, tab and then go to, um, you know, undo, and redo, like you're gonna be do that all that time. And um, you know, within editing, you can actually specify how far you can go back, how many iterations. So let's say you did 20 different things and you specified that you wanna be able to undo 20 times, then you can like reverse all the problems that you had, all the things that you had done previously because maybe you don't like that cut. So you're gonna use the undo tool like a zillion, zillion times. Um, and you should know how to use that on your keyboard. It's very common, obviously, in, um, you know, if you're on a Word docket or, or Excel spreadsheet, you would undo things all the time. But in editing, it's, it's, um, it's so powerful because you're gonna go back like 20, maybe even 50 iterations, depending on what you're doing. Um, okay, those are, those are, I've given you five tools. This is a very basic, um, basic tutorial to get you started, but you're going to use those five tools in your, in your timeline, like non -stop. that's, that's, uh, that's going to take you, um, to, to many different places with your video. So hope you'll, you know, you go and try that out and see how it goes. And then, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be giving you more very, very basic videos for you to, um, learn how to edit. 
Um, so I hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.